Hey friendos, Mr. R here. So today we're going to talk about strip diagrams. I know, I know. But we really need to understand what they mean. And how come sometimes we subtract and sometimes we add? Alrighty, but today we're going to use Mr. Rodriguez's favorite tool, chocolate. Cool. Alrighty, so let's get right into it. I'm going to put a strip diagram. Now, the first thing I want to say is it doesn't ever matter whether it's the top or bottom that's the big one. And you're going to see why in just a minute. So, all they're really trying to say here is that one of them, the one that goes all the way across, well, that one's your total. It goes all the way across. Yeah? These bottom ones, if you put them together, they go all the way across. So what they're really trying to say here is the one that's all one piece, that's a whole bar of chocolate. And the one on the bottom, well, that's two pieces. But if you put them together, you have the same amount of chocolate. So you have a big value on top that's all together. That's your whole. That's your total. It's not going to get any bigger, unfortunately. But that's important to know. Because that means we shouldn't be adding to the total. Because our chocolate bar, no matter how much we want to, it's not going to magically grow. So we shouldn't be adding to the total. Now these bottom ones, well, we're going to always put them together to get up here. But there's some situations where, well, Mr. Rodriguez, what if they don't give me one of those pieces? Well, if you notice, that piece, if we subtract it from the total, or if we were to take it out of our big chocolate bar, if you notice what's left, if we were to break that piece off and notice what's left, what would be left is the same amount that it would take to make a full bar. So that's why we subtract when we're missing a part. When we're missing a part, we're going to subtract from the total to see how much is left. That way, when we put those parts together, now we have the same amount of chocolate again. Easy peasy. And when there's just parts and there's no total, well, all you have to do is put those parts together. And when you put those parts together, hey, you got your total. You have a whole. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's put some numbers in there so we can see what we mean for real. Okay, so I'm going to redo my strip. Yes. Okie dokie. So let's put another diagram in there. Whoop! And this time I'm going to use the bottom for my hole. Just so you can see it really doesn't make a difference. Okay. So, this time, let's put some numbers. If we look at our hole, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. Okie dokie. So, that means that our hole or our total, that should be 12. Okay. So, what if they only just gave you this one piece? Hmm. Well, that piece is three. It doesn't go all the way across. But this one does. That means this one's our total. It's the whole. Remember, it represents the whole chocolate bar. Now, we're missing some to get all the way to the end. So if we were to subtract this which we know is one, two, three. If we were to subtract that from the total or take that part out of our bar, whatever would be left, well, that would be the part that's missing. So let's take a looky loo. Here's my total, the 12. Oh, we have our total, the whole 12 pieces. Now we have a part up here that doesn't fit all the way across. So, if we were to subtract or take that part out of our hole, we could see that there is nine parts left. So, from here to here, well, that would have to be nine. And if we look, if we don't have three pieces, there's our hole. If we cover up those three, the parts that are left, well, that's nine. And we know that the whole is 12. So if we put 3 and 9 together, we should get 12. <gasps> Yay! So, remember, if you're missing a part, you just have to subtract from the total. 
Also, your total shouldn't be getting any bigger, no matter how much Mr. Rodriguez wants his chocolate to get bigger. Alrighty, what if we just had our parts? Well, we already know that. Ooh, let's put our parts back. There's one part. Okay. I didn't need it, I promise, it's there. There's my other part. Well, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Well, those are my two parts. Easy peasy. If I put them together, I should be able to get my total. So if I put these together, I should be able to get a total. Let's see. Oh, these parts together are a whole or a total bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all of them together gives us 12. Easy peasy. That's how strip diagrams work. One of the bottom or the top values is either going to be the total. That's the whole. You're going to know because it goes all the way across. You see, that's what they're trying to tell you. They're telling you that from here to here, it takes up the whole space. That's the total. But if you look at the parts at the bottom, they never go all the way across. So those are going to be your parts. And if you put the parts together, you're going to get your total. If you have a total and a missing part, well, if you take that part out, whatever's left, that has to be the missing part. All right, my friends, I'm going to eat some chocolate. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.